We're problem number one. Bob and Chris have been assigned to do a job. It is known from before that it takes Bob four hours to complete the job alone, and it takes Chris five hours to complete the job alone. How long would it take the two employees to do the job together? So this is a typical word problem, and if you know the formula from your previous algebra class, you could use that. If you do not know the formula, then you just need to remember one formula, which says work equals rate times time. That is the only formula that you need to know for any kind of word problem. Once you have this formula written down, you're going to create a table, just like what we did in class, and list out all the different situations. First situation, uh, Bob working alone, right? So this is the worker. The first column is for the worker. Sometimes they are not people. Sometimes they could be machine. So I'm going to do Bob. That's the first worker. Um, it says takes Bob four hours to complete the job alone because it's the job. It's just a job. So your work is just one. And then the time is four because four hours. If you apply the formula and you will be able to calculate the rate for Bob because one equals um, R times T, right? So that R must be one over four because, you know, one over four times four is one. So this will be the rate of Bob. And then you're going to do the same thing for Chris. It says Chris is going to take five hours to complete the job alone. So this is one for one for work, five for T. And the rate will be 1 over 5 because 1 over 5 times 5 equals 1. And then finally, they want you to find out the amount of time it will take for both of them to work together. So the last situation, Bob plus Chris. And they're still doing the same job. So W is still 1. Um, and then T is something that we need to find. So you could put a question mark there. The rate, because they're working together, so the rate is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. So if you add these two, uh, it's going to be 9 over 20. Therefore, we have an equation from the last row. 1 equals 9 over 20 times t. So you just need to solve for t. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll probably get rid of that denominator, which is 20. So I'm going to multiply uh, both sides by 20. So that will give me 20 on the left-hand side and 9 times t on the right-hand side. And then we isolate t by dividing both sides by coefficient 9. So we obtain that 20 over 9 is the answer. And 20 over 9 is just 2 and 2 over 9. So it's a little bit longer than 2 hours, which makes sense. It takes each of them 4 and 5 hours to do the job. So if they work together, the amount of time should be lower than 4 hours. And this is the case. So finally, let's write a sentence to answer the question. Um, it will take them... 2 and 2 over 9 hours to do the job together. And then we can box our answers.